Hey church family, uh, this is day 10 of Shelter in Place. And my hope is that I'll be able to send out a short video message each week uh, just to update you on what is happening in our church family. I remember the first time I tried to record a five minute message, it took almost three days. Uh, I personally don't enjoy doing this. Even right now, I'm trying to get my children to stay quiet while they're cooking. It's a little bit chaotic, uh, but I'm getting better at it. And this is one of those new things that God is forcing me to learn. Uh, there is simply no way to minimize the impact of this virus. It has disrupted every area of our personal, family, work, and church life. Significant events and plans have all been canceled. Uh, weddings, I heard even funeral this week that, that people were trying to do this over Zoom. Uh, our children may not even have their graduation this year. The virus has made a lot of people sick and we have no way of knowing when things will actually begin to get better. Even after uh, this outbreak comes under control, there will be a significant aftershock of this crisis that's going to come in waves in the coming weeks and months. Uh, sickness and infections may slow down. Uh, economy may or may not bounce back. Uh, but many experts are predicting that there will be a huge spike of mental illness, depression, and anxiety disorder long after this crisis settles. Uh, sociologists are also predicting that there will be a, a surge of divorces in the near future because of this crisis. I want you to think of your life right now. It's almost like living in a pressure cooker with no outlet. Uh, there is a mounting fear of losing our job, uh, our health, potentially our economy could collapse under this pressure, and you have no control over your life at the moment. If you have school-aged children like me, uh, you're all of a sudden now a full-time mom, dad, teacher at home while you're trying to work from home. And many of us are not used to having our spouse or children around 24-7. Uh, then there are those of us who are also living alone, uh, feeling isolated, lonely, and disconnected. Uh, the purpose of this video is not to remind you how bad life seems at the moment. But it is also in times like this that we get to experience God's provision, His deliverance and salvation. Uh, we encounter God more often in the thick of fire and chaos and confusion than in times of peace and tranquility. Uh, the world right now is fighting for survival, but the church, I believe, needs to be fighting for revival in times like this. Uh, the worst tragedy for me uh, out of this crisis is that if we simply go back to the old way of life, how will our children remember this moment in history? And what will be said of the church? What lessons will we have learned? How will the church be different from the world in responding to a crisis that is unfolding at the moment? These are the, the kind of conversations that I'm having with my children on a daily basis. Uh, they're not going to remember our live stream worship experience or what I said in a video like this or the things that they uh, did during the lockdown period. They'll remember, however, how you rose to the challenge to lead your family with courage and love, uh, how you have placed your confidence in God and led them into God's presence in every moment, in every opportunity you had. So let's learn what God is trying to teach us in this season. Let's love and lead well those that God has placed under our influence in times like this. We may be sheltered for a season, but I want you to know that we're not going to stay passive and just try to ride out or survive this crisis. I believe that God is force, force training us to innovate, adapt, and prepare for the future that may look very different from what we all have imagined. We cannot physically be in one place together right now, or at least for a while, but we will continue to gather virtually for prayer and worship. Uh, every Wednesday, we will continue to hold our congregational Zoom prayer gatherings. Last night, we had almost a couple hundred people coming out and joining us. All our small groups are already meeting online, and we will be putting together all this information and links uh, to our meetings in, in the next few days and post them on the church website. Uh, we will continue to create times and space for men and women to meet via Zoom on a weekly basis to pray, encourage, and support one another. Uh, as you know, our youth are continuing to meet uh, on Saturday nights uh, for their E-Square, 
Arrows will continue to uh, meet with our children as well as our parents for some online activities in the coming days. Our Empower and Life of Christ will continue in online format as well. Uh, we may uh, not be able to get together and enjoy our fellowship over our gourmet coffee or lunch, but we will find ways to fellowship even after our live stream worship via Zoom. And this Sunday, we're going to try to do that. So feel free to bring your own favorite drinks or snacks. I'm planning to also have our first online communion on April 12th as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. I also want to encourage you to give even more generously in this season so that we can be in a position to bless others. Uh, Church Office will be producing a short instructional video on how to give online or set up your uh, direct deposit giving. Uh, Your giving will be crucial for keeping our ministries going strong in the days ahead. Uh, We also need to stay committed uh, to supporting our Alliance work around the world. Uh, Yes. We are going to experience some hardship in the coming days, but let's not forget how God has blessed our community, our church, with resources that the rest of the world uh, have very little access to, especially in times like this. This virus uh, may disrupt our way of life for a while, uh, but it will not stop us from being the church. What we used to call church right now is just an empty building. Uh, That's not the church. You are the church, and we are the church. As long as we're committed to loving and supporting one another, no virus can stop us from being God's family. I love you and miss being together with you. Hopefully that day will come sooner than later. Uh, But do not let this virus stop you from loving God, leading your family, and serving your neighbors. I look forward to connecting with you once again this Sunday uh, via our live stream. Blessings to you and your family.